Hi everyone, hope you are doing great. So in this session, we will learn about how to generate a random value. It seems funny, why would someone do that? I mean generate a random value. Believe me, random value is sometimes very much useful to make the algorithm unpredictable. I mean something like that. You will learn the use of that thing later. But let's just see how to create it and just uh, <clears throat> maybe play around a bit. So play around the random thing. Okay guys, so how do you do it? So first pull the... <clears throat> um, assign right now just we have created a variable called as grade and it's int okay remember integer so just give uh, grade right and uh, normally we have given static values here we will not do that right now what we will do is just click on this we will give it a random value so just say new okay so remember this one um, random right so it's a method then next okay and i want a random number between um, 10 to uh, uh, 90 right so between 10 to 90 just say okay so just set it as a start node then let's just add a message box message box right uh, done now just connect the dots and uh, just give it a message so i want to display that um, uh, okay your just give it in quotes your uh, grade is uh, you have to use a plus symbol if you want to append a string and a variable just say grade okay so quite simple uh, save it uh, what's the error just see here uh, it's yeah looks fine one minute string to double okay can you see it's throwing an error uh, that you're trying I'm trying to convert string to double so what you do is so this one is an integer right so just convert it to a string so now you will also learn in this session how to convert a integer to a string so how do we do it just click on dot then just say to string okay so to string save it right so we have also seen how to do conversions just click on dot right so pretty simple huh? now just uh, uh, run it uh, just say your okay can you see your grade is 27 right so quite simple now just uh, let's see yeah so let's see this one okay now you can play around a bit if you want to so instead of creating a message box you can uh, let's say create a decision right and uh, just based on what is the value of this particular thing you can uh, play around a bit right so let's say uh, let's say right uh, let's just say if uh, the grade uh, is equal to it's unequal to 30 it's a bit of risk huh? <laughs> it'll keep on the uh, um, let's say if grade is uh, unequal to we've added a decision right so okay decision is not a problem if you add a loop it will go on forever then you have to kill it so that's a bad thing now just say uh, I'll just say if grade is greater than 40 then uh, then uh, you can display a message okay uh, let's just say it's uh, okay just say pass otherwise uh, just say like fail okay so fail simple now done right so let's just see run it and see so pass right so it's a random thing we have done and it's a pass okay so simply uh, uh, you rerun it multiple times i hope you understood this logic okay we have mixed uh, what we had learned earlier with this random value thanks guys thank you very much for this session so we'll finish the session right now thank you very much